Good morning, this is Connor from Zero DTE Traders here to present our market minute for July 8th, 2024. It is 1030 and the SPX is trading higher up one tenth of a percent to 55.75. IWM is outperforming up 1.2% and Qs are taking the back seat flat on the day with mega caps in the red with the exception of NVIDIA up 2.5%. Now we always give extra weight to the mega caps because the S&P is a market cap weighted index. So if mega caps are underperforming, upside tends to be limited. If mega caps are outperforming, downside tends to be limited. So mega caps, something you wanna pay close attention to today. As far as levels, uh, the SPX is flirting with 55.75. If bears manage to to hold below it, it opens the door to gap fill at 55.67, and then significant support uh, down here at the flip 55.55, 55.50, um, and then the put wall at 55.45. Um, on the upside, we have the call wall today at 55.85. Uh, followed by 5,600, which is uh, much more significant in terms of resistance uh, and will likely be the call wall tomorrow. Now, the reason we're seeing this abnormal um, shift in the call wall and put wall closer to the market price uh, largely has to do with today's option expiration, uh, where there's a heavy concentration of puts at 55.45, 55.50, and a concentration of calls at 55.85, 55.90. And this is about 30,000 open interest at each strike. Uh, now this is open interest. So this is meaning options that were bought or sold prior to today. Um, and is why we're seeing you know more volume in that region as well. Um, now generally this sort of structure uh, suppresses volatility and builds gamma at the money and, and shifts in those key levels, uh, which we clearly see. Now let's just go over the gamma charts and I'll, I'll show you what this looks like from, from a gamma perspective. So you can see the significance of 55.85 and the significance of 54.45, 54.50, um, and then the flip at 55.55 here. So all strikes above positive supported for the market price, whereas most strikes below negative that is destabilizing for the market price. This is the transition where we would anticipate higher volatility, both implied and realized. Now again, this is being distorted due to today's option expiration. Um, so tomorrow, we're likely gonna see uh, quite a significant contraction in gamma uh, at these strikes and, and a shift uh, probably outwards in both the call wall and the put wall, um, opening the door to, to a little bit more volatility. Now, in terms of catalysts today, there is, is nothing on the radar. Um, however, this week is going to be a, a pretty big week. We got CPI on Thursday, PPI on Friday, uh, and then we have Fed Chair Powell testifying Tuesday and Wednesday, um, as well as Janet Yellen uh, on Tuesday. And she has a tendency to, to spark market moves, um, typically to the upside, so uh, pay attention to that. Um, as well, Q2 earnings season kicks off. Uh, we got airlines on Thursday and banks on Friday. Um, and then what else do we talk about in our market report today? Um, essentially the, you know, what's going on with today's open interest and, and then growth outperformance, uh, which we kind of touched on as well. Um, okay guys, that's all I have. If you're not a member and you're interested in learning more, you can visit our website at zero dtetraders.com. Best of luck out there today.